What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in this video we're going to go over how to integrate WooCommerce with Integromat. Integromat is like Zapier on steroids and you can use you know your scenarios in Integromat to watch for new WooCommerce orders and when something you know a new order happens in WooCommerce or you can get all your historical orders um, you can export to Google Sheets, send to Zoho, QuickBooks, update a tag, and active campaign based on a bunch of different um, filters and data. So if you're, you know, pulling your hair out using the WooCommerce API, this may be a good um, video for you. So let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here and you do get value out of the video or you end up getting some value on the video, make sure you give me a like, give me a thumbs up, it really helps YouTube's algorithm. And then I can get my subscribers up and maybe become a YouTuber and do more videos. Okay, so I have this Charlie's Coffee site and I want to first, you know, export my orders to Google Sheets. So I'm gonna go to Integromat and as you can see, there's so many integrations you can use with, um, that are like pre-built with Integromat if you're checking out my screen right now. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sign up for an Integromat account. So I'm gonna go open up the incognito window and simonganic.com slash integromat. Awesome, so I'm gonna click sign up and they do have a free plan if you're just starting out, but if you're trying to do something um, in more depth, um, you may have to use a paid plan, but I think they're um, it's like $9 a month. But you should be able to do the bulk of this with a free plan until you have to upgrade. Um, but if you just wanna get a taste of how this all works and if this works for your custom integration and whatnot, um, I would highly recommend checking it out. Okay, so I need to verify my email. Okay, so I verified my email, now it's time to sign in. And awesome, I'm all signed in and they may ask you like getting started. They may ask you a few questions, just quickly go through that. And I'm gonna create my first scenario. So the first scenario I wanna do, let's just say I wanna get all my WooCommerce orders. So I can get this really easily by just going like this, typing in WooCommerce, okay? And I want to um, watch orders and I wanna create a new connection and let's just call this Charlie's Coffee Co. And this is going to be my URL right here, charliescoffeeco.com. And I need to get my consumer key and consumer secret. So I can go to my WordPress dashboard go to WooCommerce settings and then go to advanced and then go to rest API. Then I'm gonna create my API key. So I'm just gonna name this Integromat and I'm gonna generate the API key and I'm gonna copy this here and then copy my consumer secret as well. Awesome, so if I click continue and make sure this stuff, the connection name doesn't really matter, it's just an identifier for you, but you need to make sure this consumer secret and or consumer key and consumer secret match what you have here. And then also make sure your eShop URL um, looks like this. And the easiest way to do that is probably just to copy this up here. Okay, so I'm gonna click continue. And now what I can do is I can say, I'll just say all my orders and I can put any limit I want to, but it's gonna pull all my orders. So I can just do all, and let's say I run this once. Awesome, so I ran this once, and as you can see, it's gonna pull all my orders. So order ID, you know, 290, 293. So if you can see 283, it starts, and then 285, and then 288, 290. So it goes through like every single um, order I have in my shop, right? And it's going to expand them. And I can see all the metadata as well for each order. And it's just a really easy way to see all my orders using Integromat. So I could take this and um, do something else. Like let's say I wanna do Google Sheets or Google Data Studio. I could easily um, create uh, a row for each order if I wanted to. So let's just, I would say I wanna do this. And um, you know, I could easily just map in every single thing 
from my order if I wanted to. So I could just go down to, you know, everything status, basically just copy all these things into each column. So let's just say I just do, you know, these first few things, you know, let's do billing first name as well and billing last name. Awesome. So I could easily do this. And then if I run this again, it's not going to do it because we did all of our orders um, initially. But as you can see, if um, if I just do, let me just erase this and do WooCommerce, watch orders. And I want to just do processing and let's just do two to work with. And I'll have to update, re-update this. So we can just do something real quick like this. And then if I run it, it's going to create um, in my Google Sheet. Awesome. So if I come back to you know, this spreadsheet right here, I can see that two rows were added and maybe I want to add you know, um, table headers above for ID, number, you know, status, first name, last name, order total. If I come back here, I could do this for all my orders and I could update this, you know, to a hundred and it could be any status, right? So I could do all and then I could add a filter here, you know, if status is equal to um, processing. You know, I could do something like this and all my orders are processing. But as an example, if I run this again, it's going to add you know, only filter in the orders that it gets that are processing and add it to the Google Sheet. Awesome, so if I come back to my Google Sheet, I can see that all my orders have been dynamically added in. In the watch orders, um, you know, scenarios more so for like, if a new order came in, it's automatically going to run that and add that to the Google Sheet. But if you guys want like a different scenario, um, maybe it's more helpful to see, so I could even do something like um, WooCommerce and I could, you know, um, do something such as, you know, create a product and I could easily create a new product, just call like, you know, YouTube membership or something. And I could create this as a simple product and put it as a draft and, you know, make it visible at a description. This is a, test product may want to do the same thing there add a SKU, you know YouTube video 001 or whatever the case may be set the price as 10 set the sale price etc so I could be virtual it's not down downloadable um, basically just put in everything um, regarding the stock quantity so this could be really helpful if you were trying to map um, a product from maybe a spreadsheet of your inventory or um, you know another ERP or CRM integration that you have. So let's say I um, add this product. Now let's say I want to do this once, right? And I can do this. I don't know if I need to also fill out more criteria, but okay. So it created this new product easily, and I can come back here. And I can see that this, you know, YouTube membership product was created, right? And I can see that I set it to the right sale price. It has um, a SKU, stock, stock quantity, etc. So this is all just using Integral Mat, and I can see um, how the product was created in um, WooCommerce, and then cross-reference it as well here. Um, but there may be something else that you want to do. So let's say I delete this and WooCommerce, I want to do a new event. So then I could add a webhook called like, let's say I want to do product is updated or an order is updated. I want to do something. So this webhook is going to fire when an order is updated. I can see this address and this webhook will be added to my WooCommerce site. So let's do something. So let's say like webhook response, sorry, new event, orders updated. I could maybe go back to Google Sheets or maybe I want to do something in Zoho to add a tracking tag. You know, you can see all these Zoho things or MailChimp. So I could do this in orders updated 
or let's just say, let's update the customer when the order is updated. So update customer. So this is just a good example of how Integromat works and how to integrate it with WooCommerce. Again, it has so many integrations with so many um, apps and services that you should be able to find one that you have. And if you don't, it does not have an integration, you could use an HTTP request. Um, so you could easily, you know, add something like this. And you could do, you know, a basic auth request or an OAuth 2.0 request. There's just so many things you can take this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I didn't ramble on for too long and you guys kind of got a grasp of how to use WooCommerce with Integromat. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace out. See ya.